So today we've got the mayors and the councillors who've served Westlock for here for almost the last 50 years. And we've got some members of the founding and original families. I'm going to ask some of them to come up and introduce their family members and perhaps tell us a little something of their recollections of Westlock. The town was called Edison, and I think there's a little story about how it changed from, from uh, Edge, Edgson to Edison, but George Ed, Edgson, would you please come to the mic? That's how it changed. <laughs> Too hard to say. <laughs> Just a quick comment on that. The, uh, the G is silent in our name. He spelled E-D-G-S-O-N, but the G is silent. We've always been Edsons. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. And so the speculation, there's no confirmation of it, but the speculation is that just after the original uh, folks came here, they made it simple by giving the name to someone who was very famous at that time, uh, Thomas Edison. So Edson, Edson become Edison. Strange thing. Anyway, just a quick uh, few comments on our family. The, the, our, my, if you like, uh, great-grandfather, grandparents, and their boys and one daughter came to this area in 1902, homesteaded about five kilometers uh, uh, east of here, and it became known as the Edison Settlement. The, my granddad lost his uh, homestead in uh, the Depression, and so uh, his uh, uh, siblings, my father and his siblings, that is, dispersed from the area. We left the area because there was no farm to hold the roots here, as many as you have. We've learned a lot about our history. When we had our cake cutting, somebody brought in a, a tax notice from 1923. $13.54. <laughs> <laughs> you won't see that again, I'm sorry. Uh, next, we'll have Alan Alton come up and talk about the Alton property and family and, and uh, their connection to our community. I believe that that post office was on the property that my great-grandparents, Michael and Elizabeth Alton, bought from the CPR. And my grandfather was a postmaster there until I closed down and, and, and moved to, to Westlock. So, um, my grandfather, Burton Alton, ended up homesteading on a quarter section of land, which is now the home to your brand new swimming pool, as well as the elementary school, which in my days was a junior high, and I went to uh, that junior high. So we also have uh, members of one of the two founding families. Now we didn't, we had a few leads and we chased our Lockhart leads uh, um, but did not make any connections, although we certainly tried hard. But we have several members connected to the Westgate family today, so I'm going to ask Lauren Westgate to come to the mic. Our great-grandfather, William Westgate, and his wife Esther moved west from the Mealeal area of Quebec and settled in the Westlock area, along with their, some of their children. The family moved away in 1936, I think it was. And uh, my dad always talked about the friendship with the Smith family. <laughs> and uh, uh, even, though, even though he moved away from here, I think part of him was always, always in West Lot. So uh, we're glad we could be here today. Lauren mentioned the friendship with the Smith family. Now, I tried to tell the story of the Smith family and the Smithfield Lodge, and because we used to run across the barley field and play in the trails, trees on, on Warren Smith's farm at our cake cutting this spring, but I got it all wrong. And my friend Linda Sutherland corrected me a little bit, but I still don't quite have that story. And I've asked Madge McCready to come and talk about uh, that family and their connection to our town. But it was 1905 when my grandfather Peter McCachran and his wife Lavisa moved from Ontario to Strathcona. Uh, my grandfather left my grandmother and my mother in Strathcona so she could go to school while he came in the winter time and lived in a tent uh, out here and filed on what is now the quarter of land that the PV store sits on. And I often think when I come how fortunate 
How fortunate I was to be raised in this town. We ran just everywhere. No one worried about us, and yet everybody worried about us. Our parents knew who we were, knew where we were, maybe, and they knew, they knew if we weren't at home, they knew where they probably were. And everybody looked out for everyone else. Um, it, was a, it was a great life of freedom, a great town to be raised in. I've always been so proud of it. Uh, well, Lauren, Lauren Campbell uh, uh, homesteaded west, uh, west of, uh, uh, in the Rustin area in, in 1908. His dad's farm had, had uh, the house and the old log cabin, which is his original cabin, and, and, and later became the pigsty. And, and, and uh, I remember my father bragging about one time when he was mayor. There was a, uh, on that uh, corner with the, the red and white, white rose, Holton's uh, Tories, there was a, uh, uh, at the intersection, there was a street light right in the center. <laughs> and you had to turn around, you know, if you went, you made a right turn, you always, left turn, you always had to go around the, the, uh, the lights. And everybody was going too fast. <laughs> so my father, as Reeve, as Reeve, authorized that they built it up so, so people would have to slow down to, to go around. And then, anyway, that's, that's all I have to say. And it, it, it's wonderful to be here. Five, four, three, two, one. So this house was built originally in 1936 at a cost of $12,000 and it was built for Harry Curlett who was at one time the mayor of Westlock. When you look at this house it's absolutely beautiful and it was one of the most modern homes in Westlock at the time. It had running water, it had deep well, it had wiring throughout, it had controlled heating it had a room for a chauffeur, and it had the most beautiful pool in the back and the most gorgeous, gorgeous um, um, water garden, and it was on five lots.
Saturday. 